old guy in Colorado. Doodah. Hello everyone, old guy is here, and a real quick shout out to my new subscribers. I'm glad you're here. Thanks for thanks for subscribing. <laughs> so, uh, homages to Mrs. Old Guy, as always, um, and because if I don't, really, guys, you don't know. <laughs> uh, so today I'm messing around. I'm gonna make a stuffed burger wrapped with bacon and panko bread and deep fried. So, let's get started. Mrs. So, guy, come on over. I've got three pieces of bacon here. Two of them I left whole, and one I kind of separated there. Just because I don't want to put three layers thick on one side. I've got a very thin burger. You can see it's pretty thin. It's about two ounces here. Okay. And to that I'm going to throw on some cheddar cheese. I'm going to try and stay away from the very edge if I can. <laughs> Got a whining puppy in the background, Mr. Wonder Dog Chumley. And here I've got some jalapenos and some uh, peppers, or not peppers, but onions that I just kind of sauteed up in a little bit of butter, salt, and pepper. Put those in there. Oh man, they smell strong and they about choked me to death when I was frying them up. All right, so I got another patty just the same size right on top and we got to seal that in there really good. We don't want the cheese to come out. So let's seal it up really nice. By the way, I hope you all are having an excellent day. I know I is. <laughs> Right. So we're just gonna see how I'm just kind of pulling that edge up a little bit, my way around. Okay. There we go. Put the jalapeno there. Now we'll pull that bacon up and over. If I think it's too much, I'll trim a little bit off. I'm not afraid, and I know there's really no too not not a thing is too much bacon, but I don't want it to be soggy. I want this bacon to crisp up while it's in the fryer. So I'm gonna try and keep it to at least only two layers thick. And that looks pretty good. It doesn't have to wrap around there completely. All right. Bottom. So, got a little egg wash, salt, pepper in here. Flip that over. It's okay. Panko bread. Not looking to cake it on there. I just not want to like a light coating. All right, so I'm gonna get another one of these made for Mrs. Old Guy, and I'll be back. Okay, there's our two burgers. Uh, Mrs. Old Guy didn't want bacon, so obviously there's no bacon. <laughs> so we'll get these cooked. I'm gonna have to do them one at a time. I don't think the fire is big enough for both. So drop that in there. Okay, and I'm gonna set the timer for six minutes. And hopefully, this doesn't blow out any cheese. We will see. We'll be back. Oh yeah. That looks really good. Here in the light. Looks good. All right. So I'm going to get Mrs. Old Guys cooked 
and uh, we'll get them plated up. So we'll be back in. Okay, burger is on the bun. That turned out really thick. <laughs> All right, so we'll put mustard on here. Ketchup. Some tomatoes. <laughs> Some pickles. Some lettuce on here. I'll be lucky if I can even get my mouth around this thing. <laughs> oh, that built it upside down. All right. Well, that's okay. <laughs> they both look about the same. Well, that's because I gave Mrs. Old Guy two top buns. <laughs> and two bottom buns. Okay, so here. I'll swap you. There we go. <laughs> All right, so let me cut this thing here. steaming hot. We let this cool for about five minutes or so. Maybe maybe more. Okay. So it's just right for both for both companies, right? For those that like it a little a little on the pink side, and for those that like it well done, it's like right at the edge of both. <laughs> anyway, um, maybe this will give you an idea for something to do for dinner one night. Uh, anyway, I appreciate everybody watching. If you're new to the channel and you're just dropping in for a view, thanks for watching. In the meantime, y'all take care of yourselves and I'll see you next time.